In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his followers said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. And Jesus said, When you pray, say, So now let us start with our discussion. So our topic for today is canonical forms. So what is canonical forms? Canonical forms refers to a standard or simplified representations of objects, functions, or mathematical structures. It is often used to represent a mathematical entity like matrix, equation, or polynomial in a simplified or standard way that is easier to analyze or compare. The goal of canonical form is to express something in a way that is unique, standardized, or simplified, making it easier to work with or compare different entities. Canonical forms are used across various fields of mathematics, computer science, and logic. Here are some common uses of canonical forms. First is canonical forms in mathematics, for example, polynomial. A polynomial in standard form is written with terms ordered by decreasing degree of the variable. The canonical form of a polynomial is its simplest and most organized version. Example, 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Next is canonical forms in mathematics, for example, matrix. In linear algebra, a matrix can be expressed in a canonical form, such as Jordan canonical form or diagonal form. When we say diagonal form, it is a matrix that is considered in diagonal form when all its non-zero elements are on the main diagonal. While Jordan canonical form, it is used primarily in linear algebra. This form of a matrix has a specific block structure that simplifies many problems. Example, a is equals to 4, 0, 1, 3. So this matrix is already in diagonal form, where all of diagonal elements are 0. So this is a simpler and standardized representation of the matrix. Next canonical form is canonical forms in logic. For example, is Boolean algebra. Disjunctive normal form or DNF. So it is a logical expression written as an OR of ends of literals. For example, quantity of A and B 
or quantity of negation of A and C. So this expression is in disjunctive normal form. Next is conjunctive normal form or CNF. So it is a logical expression written as an end or ors of literals. For example, quantity of A or B and quantity of negation of A or C. So this expression is in conjunctive normal form. So these are the standardized expressions for logical formulas. Next is canonical forms and mathematics of a conic section. Conic section like circles, parabolas, and hyperbolas have canonical forms that make it easy to recognize their properties. So first is circle. The canonical form of a circle's equation is x squared plus y squared is equals to r squared, where r is the radius. Next is the ellipse. The canonical form of an ellipsis equation is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equals to 1, where a and b are the same major and same minor axis. Lastly is parabola. The canonical form of a parabola is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, or in vertex form, y is equals to a quantity of x minus h squared plus k, where h k is the vertex. Next is canonical forms of a group element. In group theory, the canonical form can refer to a standard representation of elements of a group, such as expressing group elements in a particular order or structure. Example, in symmetric groups or permutations, the canonical form of a permutation can be expressed in cycle notation. Example, a permutation 1, 2, 3 can be written in a canonical cycle form as 1, 2, 3. So this represents the permutation where 1 implies 2, 2 implies 3, and 3 implies to 1. Next is canonical form in geometry. Ellipsic canonical form, the equation of an ellipse can be simplified to its canonical form when the axes are aligned with the coordinate axis. Example, if you have an ellipse equation like 9x squared plus 16y squared is equals to 144, so you divide both sides by 144 to get the canonical form, which is x squared over 16 plus y squared over 9 is equals to 1. Another canonical form is canonical form of a graph. A graph nodes and edges can have a canonical form, which is a unique standardized representation of the graph. Example, in graph theory, a graph can be transformed into a canonical form where nodes are numbered or ordered in a specific way, making it easier to compare different graphs. Lastly, canonical form of a string. In computer science, strings can be transformed into a canonical form by normalizing them. This might involve removing spaces, punctuation, converting everything to lower case or removing case sensitivity. Example, the string hello world could be transformed to its canonical form which is H-A-L-L-O-W-O-R-L-D which is hello world where spaces and punctuation are removed and all characters are in lower case. In summary, canonical forms across various disciplines provide a standardized and simplified representation, which makes operations like solving, comparing, or analyzing much easier and more efficient. That's all for my report. Thank you.